Hello. My name is... Uh, who am I playing again? Oh, it doesn't matter. Sega will probably try and take the video down anyway. Hajime Satomi, CEO, Director, and Chairman of Sega Corporation. Now, you will know us from last week's episode and the footage from 16 years ago where our former Vice President caused the Dreamcast to be a commercial flop. Of course, that was many years before I became a part of this operation, but... Eh, uh, fuck that guy. Well, I can assure you that Sega has learned from the mistakes of the 90s. You see, Sega has adopted only the worst traits of modern day video game companies. A long, long time ago, we were seen as the cool system. We marketed ourselves as the polar opposite of the family friendly Nintendo. When you played Mortal Kombat on the Sega Genesis, you got to see all the blood and gore uncensored. Man, that's what the cool kids wanted. Since shifting focus to third party titles in the early 2000s, no thanks to that guy, we've become accustomed to beating dead horse. I mean, beating a dead horse. But unlike other companies, like Nintendo or Konami, that beat many dead horses, we like to stick to our pile of sawdust that used to be a skeleton that at one point resembled a dead horse. Sonic. Does anyone know anything about us other than that we make Sonic? No! No, you don't. Especially those of you born after the 90s. Don't pretend to know our game lineup without first browsing Wikipedia. We make Sonic to you. That horrible hedgehog hasn't had a good game since Colors and Generations. Sonic Boom was a horrible mess that, like every other bad game company, we pushed out too soon. You think we would have learned our lesson after Sonic 2006. But no, no. We keep making the same stupid mistakes over and over again. Speaking of stupid mistakes, do you want to get on the internet's bad side? Just take down every single video of your IPs that are on YouTube, and holy crap, will they turn on you. And not just popular games like Sonic. We filed two copyright claims against Total Biscuit back in 2013 over Shining Force 3. Remember that game? No? Well, we still filed a claim. Because, dear God, that video used footage of our game. Well, at least Nintendo will allow you to post their footage on YouTube. They'll just force you to monetize it and then take all of your earnings. But we, we will make you take the video down. Even if it's for a game that you can no longer purchase anywhere. Poor Creative Assembly. We could do the nice thing and shut them down like EA did with Pandemic, but no. No, we will continue to make them release games too soon, like Rome 2, and then force them to take all the blame. And thank God Alien Isolation made a fuck ton of money. It really helped people forget just how horrible Colonial Marines was. What better way to cap off just how horrible we are than by reminding you that every time something goes wrong, we fire tons of our employees. In fact, we laid off over 300 people when we moved to California earlier this year. We claimed that it was because we wanted to focus on digital games rather than just making hard copies, which means that we are literally just now catching up with the rest of the gaming industry. So that is Sega. Take the worst components of all major video game corporations, put them into a blender, and the result is awful. I mean us. The result is us. Sega, did you know that we make more than just Sonic? No. No, you didn't. We have the rights to Alex Kidd and Golden Axe? Does anyone care? Can they make money? Are they Sonic related? No? Fuck them. Thank you for watching this episode of the 100% Honest series. Please remember to like this video, to comment, to subscribe to this channel, and to share this video on all of your social media places. Go to Twitter, 
and to Reddit and to Sega of America. That's still a thing, isn't it? Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. And if anyone in the comments says that we didn't mention monkey balls, I will kick you in the monkey balls. Back then, it was bitches and hoes 24 seven.